Hello viewers, this Not Too Fast here. If you live in a multi-story home and experience Wi-Fi dead zones where you're getting no internet connection, in today's video I'll show you how to install a Wi-Fi mesh network in your home. In a mesh network, there are multiple nodes you can place throughout your home, and together it forms a large Wi-Fi network that your devices can connect to and maintain a stable connection. Now this one I have here is made by the company Wavelink, and it supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency band, and is able to provide 4800 square feet of coverage, and you can have up to 256 devices connected to it. If this is something you need in your home, keep watching. Right here is the Wavelink Wi-Fi 6 AX3000 dual band whole home mesh system. I'll open this up and show you what comes with it. Right here are the three nodes you place in your home to create the mesh system. Quick start guide. In the box you have the power adapter and the ethernet cable. Right now you're looking at the back of the three mesh devices and you'll see they're all the same. So when you're installing this you just need to pick one of the device to connect to your home router. The other two devices will connect to the first one to create the mesh network. Here's a closer look at the back of the device. You have the on off switch right here. Below that is a reset switch. If you hold this down for six seconds then you can reset the device. Next to it is a pair button. Over here is the DC power input. There are two LAN ports here. Both of these are gigabit ports you can use to connect to your computer or TV. Over here is the internet port. So with the first device that connects to your home router, you'll connect the ethernet cable to this port right here. And over here is a USB 2.0 port. You can connect your printer or storage device to this. At the top of the unit, you have the LED illumination right here. Now to do the initial setup, I will be connecting one of the node to my PC computer. You can also use a Mac computer if you want. Here I have an ethernet cable from my router. I'm going to connect it to the internet port on the back of this device. Next I'll connect the power adapter to the DC input. Next I'll connect an ethernet cable to LAN 1 port and I'll connect this to my ethernet port on my computer. Now I'll turn on the power switch. Next I'll go to my computer and set this up. Here I have a browser open. In the address bar, go ahead and type in 192.168.20.1. The WAN type is set to DHCP, the VLAN ID is disabled, Auto Mesh is on. Next, select your country, time zone, and here you can set up the Wi-Fi password for your mesh device. Go ahead and log in again with your new password. Now on this page I'll show you the first mesh device that I set up. The mode of this device is router mode and under Wi-Fi you see 2.4 gig and 5 gig channel are both enabled right now. Next click on the more button at the top. Now we can add the other two mesh device to this network. Now I'll power up the other two mesh devices. I'll select everything mesh. Now select mesh devices. The first device here is the one that I connected to my computer as listed as a router. Below that are the two additional mesh devices. Now with these two mesh devices, once I powered on, I did not have to add it. It showed up automatically. If you do have to add it manually, you can select the add button right here at the top and then follow this setup wizard to add the mesh devices. Now if you want to check if there's a firmware upgrade available, go to system, select firmware upgrade. At the bottom under online upgrade, you can see if there's any latest version you can upgrade. As you can see right now, it says no new version available. Now with this Wavelink mesh devices, there are some built-in security features. Here you can select security, firewall. If you want, you can enable block ping, port scan blocking. Now the block DDoS attacks is enabled by default. You also have ALG or application layer gateway. Here you can choose which protocol you want to enable or disable for the ALG. Now let's go back to home. On this status page, the middle device router represents the first device that's connected to my home router and then the two mesh devices are the ones on the right here. So at this time the mesh devices are set up. I can install these mesh devices throughout my home. So for example if you have a multi-story home you can put one on each floor and that will expand your Wi-Fi coverage in your home. With the configuration complete 
I place a wavelength router device in my network closet and that blue cable you see is connected to my home router for the internet connection. Here in my living room downstairs, I'm gonna put one of the mesh device next to my TV here. Connect the power cable. The device will power up and connect to the mesh network. Once the LED indicator turns blue, that tells you this mesh device is connected to the router device. With the third mesh device, I placed it in this room that's located opposite side from where the router is. With everything set up, go to your Wi-Fi setting or network setting. You see a SSID called Wavelength Mesh. Connect to it. Once connected, you have Wi-Fi connectivity throughout your home. Now there's also a Wavelength mobile app you can install onto your mobile device and it's called Wave Router. When you first open up this app, you will need to register for an account and make sure your phone's network connection is connected to the Wavelink SSID. Once you do that, it'll automatically find the device, select Add, enter a password for the Wavelink mesh. Now connect to the router. On this page, it'll show you the data throughput. Now if you select this one online device and then select Mesh Devices, here it'll show you the three nodes. First one is the router device, followed by the two extenders. As you can see, all three devices are online. Here you can also check if there's any firmware upgrade available. You can also reboot the router if you want. Select More. And these are all the additional settings on this device. So you can use this app to check the status of the devices and make changes to the settings. So if you're experiencing poor or weak Wi-Fi signal in certain parts of your home, installing a mesh Wi-Fi network might be a good solution for you. As you saw, it's very easy to set up and you can place a node device in different parts of your home to give you full coverage. Now, the time of this review, this AX3000 retail for $240. If you're interested, check out the link in the video description below. I hope you found this video to be helpful. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.